I understand you were friends first. Absolutely. How, how does the conversation happen? You know what? Let me go a different way. Mm -hmm. Were you ever uh, introduced to this type of lifestyle? Was this something you ever considered? Were you brought up in the same church as Alicia? No. Um, I grew up Christian Baptist. Um, my parents and my grandparents were very strict on that. Um, especially my father. He has military background. He's the one who raised me. So this was not an option at all. This wasn't even a thought. Um, when I met them, I wasn't for it either at first. I was just like, what kind of mess is this? Um, you know, because I, my previous relationship, I dealt with that. Like, I was the main girl, and then all these other girls started popping up and pregnancies and whatnot, and I was like, I can't deal with this. And for me now to be in a situation similar to that, it's like, you know, I'm kind of getting laughed at a little bit from the other side, but it doesn't faze me. Um, so yeah, growing up, no, this wasn't even a thought. It was all like me. My vision was walking down the aisle to one guy, be stuck with the guy, have multiple kids if I wanted kids. And that's the norm. You know, that's what we're taught to accept. That's what we grew up on. But, you know, since I've been introduced to this, there's a different view and a different side to it. And I mean, it's obvious that you can love who you want to love. Mm -hmm. Okay, so how, how does the conversation even happen because I'm brought up Christian. Uh, mm -hmm. the, the, the Bible teaches you one wife, right? One husband. End mm -hmm. the story. To death do you part. That that is part of the vows, as we know. How does the conversation happen? And is it your friend Alicia that's having the initial conversations with you? Are you cheating with Mikael, and then he starts? How, how does this conversation even come into y'all's world? And at what point did you even start to say, you know what, this makes sense for me? Um, Actually, it wasn't really much of a conversation. It just kind of happened. Um, When I first met them, and like I said, I was a single mother with two children. Um, and I was just, you know, trying to get on my feet, figure out my own way with stuff. Um, Being very independent and whatnot. So it wasn't like a... um a clingy situation because I know a lot of people would think that you know I was just looking for somewhere to put myself but um I guess things happen at the right time like I was you know looking for a friendship more than anything and you know peace and happiness at that time in my life and they just kind of were the pieces to the puzzle that fit so um it wasn't really a conversation um it just happened it it, it grew into what it is now but it was informational, like you know, yeah. we we told her what our beliefs was, right. how we operate, um, and even in that, we don't we don't force it on anybody. We just say who we are, you know. And if you want to learn more, of course, we show you. Right. You know, we we study from the same Bible, the KJV mm -hmm. Bible. You know what I mean? And we go over different things. You know, introduce her to the church, right. let her come out and visit and see if myself, even yeah. if the information being taught is for you. Right. You know what I mean? Um, and as we just became more and more friends and hanging out, you know, um, it was a time DC I had went into the hospital mm -hmm. to have, um, my daughter Diamond, mm -hmm. um, this was in 2010. And while she was in the hospital, Jasmine was there helping with the other kids and everything and keeping everything afloat with me going to work. Cause at that time I drove tour buses, you know, so I was, I was in and out. Right. So, you know, she stayed to help, help with that. And we just, it just grew into a relationship. Okay, so again, back to you, Jasmine. Yes. I, you, you you answered the question, um, but I'm I'm really you, you're a woman. Yes. And you know, when, women are jealous creatures. Mm -hmm. You know, not to say men are not, but no no woman wants to share her man. Right. So again, I understand they introduced you to the church. Mm -hmm. You're hanging around with them. What does it look like when this thing clicks? Uh, you 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 raised Christian. Like how how does how does it click to you to say I don't care what anybody thinks. 
I don't care what my parents think. You have two children with another man. Mm -hmm. I don't care what my baby daddy think because because he definitely is going to look at you like what you, mm -hmm. you, you, you're doing what with who and you're going to have my children around who. Mm -hmm. And it was that and the conversation did go like that with him. But um, <laughs> um, I guess because I was an adult and I was you know able to make my own decisions and. I saw for myself how it was not so much beneficial, but it it kind of fit with my life and what I was, you know, what I'm doing as a grown woman and raising my children that they can love who they want to love. You don't have to be, you know, stuck and pertain to them because, you know, children are going to do what they want to do when they get older anyway. But it wasn't so much as me exposing them to it and them being like, this is what you're going to do. It was more so of me saying, you know, I accept this. I'm okay with it. And that's all that matters. If I'm happy, that's all that matters. Because that's what my parents taught me growing up. As long as you're happy and you're good, no one can tell you different. If it makes you happy and you're satisfied with that at the end of the day, go for it. Um, but the flip side to that was there was some, was there jealousy and stuff in the beginning? Yeah, because as I said, previous relationship, I wasn't tolerating that. I was just like, uh-uh, it's either me or them. And then for me to fall into this kind of situation, yeah, it kind of, you know, had me thinking differently, like, okay, maybe, you know, the previous relationship wasn't that bad or, you know, guys were just being guys. I don't know, but it it worked out, so. Yeah, she left at one time. I did. She left at one time. Yeah, she was no warrant, no nothing. I just, I come downstairs and dad and brothers, they're moving her out. Yeah. You know, um, this is like, what, a year into it? Yeah, I, did. I, it she... I guess after dealing with it for a while, um, emotions was kind of just running everywhere. And I don't know, I felt like couldn't really balance home, two wives and everything. And I, I'm spoiled. So that kind of played a part in that too. Mm -hmm. Me being the only girl and I have four brothers. Um, and I'm yo, this it kind of I felt like I wasn't getting my way. So I did. I stepped out the relationship and left. Um, and at the time him and I had our first kid together. So I had three kids and I was by myself. Um tried to get into another relationship, felt miserably. Like I mean miserably. It wasn't that individual wasn't close to what I was dealing with with this. So um even in the midst of that, that individual was living with me supposed to be helping paying bills and stuff and they were there to come to my rescue every time so even with me stepping out trying to have a whole nother relationship and live that one and one life um and it didn't work they still were there the whole time like it's like they never left and I was just like you know what why am I even trying to run away from something that's obviously meant to be so what's up guys thanks for sticking with me to the end of the video truly appreciate you if you like anything you heard here today, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And if you know anybody that can benefit from this message, feel free to share. Peace and love. Make every move a power move. And I'll catch you all on the next video.